Hey, what up, bitches? Listen, man, I just seen some shit. I have to show y'all. My boy Kuda just tweeted this shit out. The game description of 2K18 in Australia. Read this shit with me, y'all. Build your career in the NBA games. Hit the courts in the playground or join the Pro-Am circuit. They said they got new my player upgrades and endorsement systems. Did y'all hear what I just told you? This is unbelievable. They have a new upgrading system. That makes me so happy. If we can upgrade our players playing online, it's over. I'm never touching my career. Hey, yo, they're calling Park the playground? I never once went to my friend and say, yo, Let's hit the playground. I say let's hit the courts, let's hit the park, let's hit the rack. They can call it the playground? Ah, man. Hey, Google, turn the lights on. I gotta be charging my batteries, man. I'm heading to New York. Last time I came ill-prepared with batteries when I hit LA. It's the lab, baby. It's the lab, baby. Y'all won't believe how easy it is to sit down here and just work when, when I have an environment like this. You know what I mean? I'm about to head out in a second. I'm gonna be back to watch the McGregor fight tonight. But I need a quick scope a little bit and try out this new Call of Duty. <laughs> Bang, bitch! I can't stand these campers! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom, bitch! Bow, bow! Fuck, man, they just head, head glitching all over this bitch, man! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I actually got sick of this game, but then I started to quick scope and 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 it changed my opinion on the game, bro. Where are they at? They're running away. Boom! Where are they at, man? Come on, where's? Boom! Oh, oh, I almost had a claw piece. Ah, man, that was a good session right there. Man, I right, kick back, got to catch up on some YouTube shit. I'm watching the Conor McGregor fight. Yo, hold up. Listen, I don't have any affiliation here. I just want a lit ass fight. I've been watching more and more MMA over the last like maybe four or five months. Like I was really trying to get into jujitsu last year, but like <laughs> might be the year this year, man. That's actually, that might be a 2018 goal for me for real. man what's up people listen y'all saw the title you're asking questions off rip some y'all gonna go crazy like agent what are you thinking and then the other group of y'all like agent you should have already done this now for those of you who don't know I'm a sport management major uh, I have one year left in university I finished three that boat is making a lot of noise so it's, it's not that I do bad it's not that I don't like the program it's a lit program I don't necessarily like the exams I promise you all the exams are like memorizing lists and paragraphs and then just rewriting them I forget them the next week but for the most part the content that we learn is dope like we have a class on sport marketing or a sport with the consumer and it's 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 lit shit it's stuff that I want to research that even if I wasn't in the program I'd still be interested in learning about and so for three years it was easy for me I'm an all-or-nothing kind of guy it was easy for me to push through the dreadfully boring exam periods this shit was so stressful and it also meant for this channel that around the time 2k launched it was midterm season for me so if it wasn't already midterms I had to have been preparing for them unless I wanted like an L I'm not necessarily like dropping dropping out because it wouldn't make I have a year left I didn't pay all that shit for no reason like, I don't know how to spend money like that and not I need to get the degree I might be taking one or two online courses at a time just chilling I don't want it at any point to impede what I'm doing right now y'all won't believe how stressful it can be to be worried about exams and then at the time uploading daily this shit is crazy I've been so conflicted because through the school year I was like F it, man I, I'm gonna finish the program I might even go for my master's and then all of a sudden, around October, November, December, things just started to take off for me. And every day, it made less and less sense to continue to be full-time in school. Plus, I'm just enjoying myself. How about that for a fucking excuse, man? Like, it's amazing. I'm, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna take my time, and 
no longer is school for me a priority. Some of y'all, like, I don't recommend you do what I do or you don't do what I do. For some of y'all, like, you shouldn't even be. Like, what's the point of wasting all the money? Some of you guys just in school because somebody told you to be in school. And then there's others who, like, you probably should be because you need a degree. <laughs> and I was kind of, yo, low-key, I was excited to graduate, man. I'm finished three years now, which means I only have one year left. You're telling me I only have one year and now I have to wait that much longer for my graduation? Some people like to minimize the shit that I've accomplished or that any YouTuber or anybody has accomplished. Like, oh, I can't believe you're not going to school for a video game. Like, I'm gonna go to school. Let's play this out for everybody, all right? Let's play this. I finish school, I graduate. I killed it in school, right? Which means I'm gonna be eligible for a master's. Let's say I complete the master's. I'm gonna get an entry-level position for like $50,000. I'm already making more than that. Or I continue going to school and I spend even more money, I'm even more in debt. I mean, even, fuck, real quick, let's forget about school for a second. Outside of school, I love learning new shit. It's not like school is the only place. In fact, I learn more shit outside of school than I do when I'm actually in class. It's unbelievable. Like, when I'm in class, I'm just worried about, she said something, like, you know when your teacher, like, your prof gives a hint, and you're like, that's just gonna be on the exam. Like, that's what I'm worried about. If I know I don't have to pay attention that day on lecture, I'm not paying attention, period. In fact, in a lot of my lectures, I'm, I'm known as the guy who sleeps in class. In the last, like, maybe six or seven months, my videos take a lot longer to complete than they did originally so I'm saying like if I'm gonna be spending more time editing and grinding on this and going meeting new people seeing these new opportunities like I can't also be in class plus like I was living in Niagara so I don't know if you guys ever been there it's a cool area but like I just knew I had to be back look at Look at this shit. Ain't have nothing like this in Niagara to be honest I don't even know how long I'm gonna be staying in Canada man if I can get my visa next year so I'm out, I'm out to Houston or LA. And of course I have a lot of people telling me like, you better, you better not quit school, you, you better. I'm like, why does it matter? Like what is, okay, let's break this down. What is the purpose of going to school? The purpose of going to school is to get a job. If you already have a job that pays well, that is fun as, like who wouldn't want my job? Which one of you guys? Like nobody. The, answers, the answer is I have the best possible job. And at no point ever am I gonna jeopardize that to go back to school to get another job. So, I mean, it's not me trying to explain it to you and convince you, like, I already, there's a bug. There's a lot of spiders here. This isn't me trying to convince you. I already convinced myself. That's what, pretty much the last six months was me debating whether I should go part-time, whether I should really slow down and just take one or two, or I should continue full-time. So this will be the first year for me that I don't have to show up to a lecture or I don't have to spend time worrying about an assignment. Yeah, I'm taking one or two online courses, but for the fall, I'm never taking a class in the fall semester, which means the first like four or five months of 2K's launch, I won't even be thinking about it. YouTube's a pretty volatile place. Like one day there's an adpocalypse, next day a bunch of people's videos are being demonetized or something in the algorithm changed. Yo, you never know when some shit's about to pop off and your channel's about to die in a fire. But like I try not to think about that shit because like, yo, it is what it is, man. Thinking about it more isn't gonna help me avoid it. Yo, yo, okay, break this down. Y'all wouldn't believe how stressful it is to every single day upload a video thinking, what are people gonna think this time? Because the second, like, uh, I won't even, nah, I think you just have to be a YouTuber to understand this shit. Those people who upload videos right now, you're nodding your head like, God damn it, man. It's like, if I don't show up for a job at the office, my boss and a few coworkers are gonna care. If I don't show up on this, hundreds of thousands of people are gonna be like, Yo, where's Agent at? If you don't show up for a week, they think you're dead. They're like, yo, they try and check the news and see if there's a report, Agent Zero found dead in Toronto. Like you. So anyway, it's enough for me complaining. I live a pretty good life, man. I can't really, you know, I gotta be pretty happy with what I have. That New York event is actually in a few days on the 30th. I'm heading on my flight. I'm gonna be there. And I'm gonna I'm come back with some collabs. I'm gonna come back with some lit info. They said we get to play the whole game. They said this shit's gonna be streamed. I haven't asked yet, but I'm gonna see if I can stream it as well. Really, I'm waiting for that because right now, like, there's nothing really to look forward to. I don't think, are you guys still playing 2K17? So anyway, I just wanna thank y'all, man. This last year has been fucking phenomenal. We've hit some road bumps along the way with some algorithm changes, but I'm on top of shit, luckily. Uh, We'll see how long I can stay on stuff. I, I'm just gonna try every day, man. How about that? And we'll let the results play out. And because I haven't plugged in a while, yo, head to the comeupdistrict.com, man. We got some crazy merch. We're adding new shit all the time. So 
Anyway, I'm gonna I'm catch y'all later, man. Uh, I don't really know what I want y'all to say. You guys are gonna say some shit anyway. All right, I'm gonna get cooked regardless of what happens right now. Oh, shit. Happy birthday, nigga. That's some good quality content, Happy birthday, nigga. Hey, Google, set the living room lights to 100%. Hey, man, y'all won't believe the bullshit I just went through trying to watch this fight until, yo, we literally caught the last round because we're like, yo, I'm not gonna pay for the fight, right? So we're gonna go on, try and find a site. Shout out to It's That Boy because he hooked me up last minute we finally got to see the round man but yo Willie, what do you think about the fight man i think we took way too f***ing long to get that shit started i went all the way home got my laptop came all the way f***ing back and i watched about 47 seconds of it yeah, i don't know where the garbage bag went but yo nads you just you just want to stay the night bro you trying to rape me oh <laughs> that's not what that was at all <laughs> Jeez, Louise! Alright, man, productive day. It was a lit day. Low key cheese that didn't catch that whole Conor McGregor fight. They legitimately have a fight night playlist on Spotify. That shit is crazy. Anyway, it's time for me to edit. I'm gonna kick back and play some Tekken 7 real quick. I'm gonna get to some editing. If y'all enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace.